We're going to make a real quick video here showing you how to create your own personal views inside of Dynamics 365 CRM. This is going to be applicable to sales, customer service, field service, marketing, even custom model driven applications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the table. In this case, it's accounts. This would work for accounts, contacts, really any of these other tables as well that are leveraging a view. So right now with my drop down selector here, on active accounts, I can see that I've got some additional system views available to me. Now, everyone has access to these. These might not always be the right fit. Maybe I wanna see other data in my own view. So what I can do is I can come in and start creating my own personal view. I can do that by adding additional columns for starters. So if I wanted to see maybe my account health, my account number, um, I'm already seeing city and state, but maybe I wanna see street address or any other data that lives at that account level, I can go ahead and I can add those columns in. And now once they're in there, I can go ahead and I can move them around. So maybe I want to see account health and account number up front. Once I have this in the correct order and maybe I've scrubbed out anything that doesn't make sense for me, I can go ahead and apply that. And now I've got some filtering capabilities. So I've got uh, more of an advanced filtering um, view here where I can come in and see everything that's already existing as far as uh, current filters on this view as well as add additional ones. So I can go ahead and add a row and what that's going to do is allow me to select any of the fields that exist on the account today. So maybe I want to look at healthy accounts. So account health, my operator is equals and I want to go ahead and I want to look at healthy accounts here. I can add additional filters. So maybe additional um, fields that exist on the account, or I could even go in and add um, a filter from an, a related entity here. So we're going to start with something simple. We're looking for healthy accounts. We're going to apply that. And now you can see that all of these accounts here, so I've got 20 of them, are showing as healthy. So this is maybe the view that I want. And all I have to do to save this is go in, come down below here to save as new view in my drop down selector. I can go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to say active healthy accounts, Whoop. and go ahead and click save. And now if I hit my drop down selector here, that is going to show that I've got X amount of personal accounts, or I'm sorry, personal uh, views here by this icon. So active healthy accounts, I'm, I'm currently selecting that. If I also wanted to make this my default view, so every time I log in and I go to accounts, this is the first view I see, you can do that as well. So I've gone in and I've added this as my default view. And now you can see um, whenever I navigate back and forth from any tables and come back to accounts that that is going to be the out of the box view for me. If you get to a point where you need to scrub these out, I can do that as well. If you come into your drop down, you go to manage and share views. I can go ahead and I can remove, I can delete these. I could hide them if I wanted to change visibility there. And you could also hide some of these system views as well. So maybe there's just too much clutter. Um, I don't need to see accounts with no campaign activity in the last three months because maybe that's not something I'm tracking anyway. So I can go ahead and I can scrub out my view a little bit too. Now, once this has been saved, if I wanted to make any modifications to it, you could. Now I can go in right at the column here and I could add additional filtering or sorting. Uh, based on the data that's there, or I could go into that advanced filtering um, feature here over on the right and update this as well. If I do that, maybe I come in here and say, I only want to see uh, accounts that have an actual account number. So this needs to contain data. It's going to scrub out all those uh, accounts that don't have an account number. And now I can go in to my drop down here and I can save the changes to my current view. So those are just some of the options that I've got when it comes to creating my own personal views inside of Dynamics 365. Hopefully this is helpful for you and you're able to go in and start creating your own personal views as well.